Hey Wolf here, do you own a Samsung cell phone? I do. And as a cell phone owner, as a Samsung cell phone owner, I love the latest version of Android and the Samsung UI. But I have noticed that recently since my phone got updated to the Samsung's latest UI 1 and also the Android 9 o, uh, it started having some problems. And the latest problem and the biggest one of all it had was the battery drainage issue. Since I have updated my cell phone, the battery drainage is very fast. Before my cell phone was giving me an endurance of 1 day and 12 hours, 10 hours, but now it gives me like 19 hours or 18 hours of total endurance, meaning that in 19 and hours I have to recharge my cell phone, it goes from 100 to 0. So how to solve it? I have found a way, it works for me and it will definitely work for you, let's find out. Welcome to the world of facts. Samsung is a very big brand. It's been in the market for a very long time. We all love it. Many love it. Some hate it as well. People say that it, you know, hangs after a certain time. It starts having processing, slow processing problems, also low memory problem. But then, trust me, any phone on the market today has this problem after being used for a few years. But today's scope of the video is the battery drainage problem after having the Samsung's latest UI one and also the Android 9.0 update. So I'll tell you how I fixed my problem. There are two things which you must do. This process of getting your battery back on track involves two things. The first thing is related to the hardware. You have to go reboot your phone. I'll tell you how. And you have to remove the cache memory. If you don't know what cache memory is, I have explained it in my WhatsApp video. You can find above here. You should get check it out, but at the end of the video. So first we will clean the cache memory and then later we will do a calibration test, a calibration tool which is included inside Samsung and if we do it properly just one time it will definitely solve our problem. So let's find out. First of all you should restart your phone. You need to press the power button and just uh, switch it off and later once you switch it on back again you need to press three keys. The power key, the home key and the volume up key at the same time and wait for a few seconds until it stops. Once the phone is restarted, it will give a black screen as I show it here, you can check it out. And as you see that screen, you just need to use your volume up and down buttons to scroll through the menu. You need to come down to the feature where it says wipe cache memory. Wipe cache memory, not factory reset, nothing at all, just the cache memory. Don't worry, it will not delete any of your data everything is safe secure stored no problem it just removes the cache memory cache memory is the memory in which the old versions android and ui files are there so you have to remove it you have to clean it to get your battery working so you come down you select the remove cache memory and then it will ask you to select either you are confirmed that you wish to do this so you need to select yes and press the power button to proceed the command and after a few seconds maybe 30 seconds it will come back to the past uh, options that the menu the past menu then you need to go to the reboot device and press the power button once again and press on yes and it will restart so the first stage of our calibration is done now as you're on the main screen of the phone this is where the second step starts you need to go to your telephone dialer and you need to dial a code star hash zero two two eight hash I repeat star hash 0228 hash it will get you the to the built-in battery calibration menu you just need to go there and you can see here how it looks and then on the bottom there is an option where you just need to click on the calibrate button just click on it it will give you a warning that are you sure you wish to do this just click on yes don't worry it's totally safe and click it once the screen will go off uh, then you need to press the power button get the device up again and just go to the main screen now whatever the percentage of remaining battery you have just use it watch videos play games or whatever bring it to zero percent and let it switch off itself as the device is switch off now so you need to plug it into the charger and just let it charge from zero to hundred do not switch on the cell phone just charge and get it from zero to hundred and once it gets to the hundred unplug the charger switch on your device once again and see what percentage of battery does it show if it shows hundred it's okay it may show 98 99 then you need to plug it again 
line in and let it be to the 100% mark and then just unplug the charger and use your cell phone as normal. This, this will definitely solve your battery drainage problem after having updated to the latest version of Android and the Samsung UI one. It works for more than 95% of people. If it still has battery drainage problem, it means that it's a problem with your cell phone battery. Then you need to go to the Samsung Care or your local market technician and get the battery replaced. That's all for the video. I hope you liked it. If you like it, comment below and tell me how you like it. Like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.